Hello and welcome to the monitor web vulnerabilities. Now in this video, we are going to take a look at a couple of points. We are going to learn about web-based vulnerabilities and I'm going to explain you these points. So guys, we are talking about vulnerabilities inside website. Vulnerabilities means weakness in a website. So there are thousands of weakness available in a website, but I'm taking one of them. And one of them is basically the security in a website. So let me give you an example. So guys, I'm inside my Windows 10 machine and first of all, you can open your browser. Here it is. And you can open a website, which is a sample website. So sample website is vulnerweb.com. Hit enter. Here it is. Now you can click and open it. Here it is. So this is the sample website, right? Let me click on the second one, testphp.vulnerweb.com. And here we are at the website. So this is the website. Now, if you can check in the URL area that this website is not using HTTPS, it is not using SSL or secure socket layer, right? It is simply using HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, right? It means this website is not secure. I mean that if data is transferring from your browser to the server, the data is not secure. The attacker can easily perform man in the middle attack or sniffing to grab that data inside Wireshark, right? why and how it happens let me show you first of all what you can do you can simply click on sign up this is the username and password panel we have our wireshark open here now for example if i type any username and password here so it can be grabbed inside wireshark because of the security in a website means this website is vulnerable or not secure because of that we are able to grab the username and password of the login inside Wireshark right now if you can look at the source code of this website so you can right click here you can click on view page source and you can come down to at the login page here it is this is here you can see that this is the form name login form this is the login page method equal to post action equal to user info.php so this is basically user info.php page you can check the method it is using post method right there are two methods get and post in php this is the post method so what you need to do here in the previous video we have seen that in the info part of the fireshark you can check for the post method and then you can open those packets and then you can grab information about the credentials same we are going to do inside this video so we are checking the vulnerability if the website is vulnerable or not so you can simply type the username the username is for example username is sunil is the username password is sunil so i'm using the same username and password you can use your name here and then you can click login before that we need to start wireshark now you can start wireshark so click here continue without scanning and here it is let me go back to the browser and let me simply click on login to get or to grab the packets inside wireshark now let me click on login here now it has simply grabbed by the wireshark let's check inside wireshark so open wireshark here right it has already grabbed it so we just need to stop the capturing process here here it is so we have these packets and we want to find out those packets which is regarding this website now you can see that information about source destination protocol informational so you can see the source will be our system the destination will be the ip address of the website or the server in the info part you can see information about packets so again we will type http hit enter and again you can see here that there is a post function available here right we have seen in the few page source that they actually use post method at the time of login you can see here this is the post method they are using that's why we are looking at the post request inside wireshark so you can see this is the post request this is the page you can simply double click here and you can see this is the username and password simply you can expand it this is the username and this is the password we have grabbed so this is a web vulnerability because website is not secure right and it is sending data in the plain text that's why Wireshark is able to detect and grab that data inside it. And it means any attacker can easily monitor your 
credential or your sensitive data inside Wireshark, right? So this is basic information about web vulnerability. In the next video, we are going to learn about how to monitor encrypted traffic.